All right, if you're into watches and occasionally browse through social media channels, you may have seen some UK-based watch dealers using the word kettle in their name, or perhaps just people generally calling watches kettle here in England. And you might be curious to know why, and I'll tell you. Let's have some fun. So kettles comes from Cockney rhyming slang, which is a diehard part of East London culture, and it's especially prevalent amongst Cockneys. And there are many theories as to how Cockney rhyming slang actually started, with many believing it was devised by criminals as a type of covert secret language to trick and confuse police or non-locals passing through, or even talk amongst traders to bargain without customers knowing. And in short, for anyone unfamiliar with the dialect, the language is formed through two common household rhyming words being put together to make an entirely new unrelated word or meaning. But what's more confusing is that in more recent times, the two-worded Cockney rhyming slang has become shortened to just one word. So play along now and see if you can guess these Cockney rhyming slang words. Some are easy and you probably know them, others might be a bit harder. <laughs> Did you get them? How many did you get? And these ones are pretty obvious, but I'm going to really bamboozle you now. Get this one. The word aris is used to indicate one's buttocks. So how do we get aris to link to bottom or arse? I'll tell you. It's the result of a double rhyme starting with the original synonym arse, which rhymes with bottle and glass, leading to bottle. Bottle was then rhymed with Aristotle and truncated to aris. So aris leads to arse. Okay, so now on to kettle. Why are watches referred to as kettles? And it's a little bit of a confusing one because it doesn't rhyme with its modern day meaning because we know the term kettles means watch, but to form the connection you need to think back to a time when pocket watches were what men used. The kind of pocket watch on a chain that were common before men wore wrist watches, which were considered back then as an item of jewellery and typically only worn by high class ladies. And these type of pocket Pocket watches back then were called fob watches and they were affixed to clothing with a chain and slipped into the pocket and could be easily taken out and read without being dropped. So back then kettles used to boil on the hob which is a place on the fire where the kettle would have been put to heat and hence the cockney rhyming slang kettle and hob which rhymes with fob a type of watch and kettle is a shortening of kettle and hob. <laughs> 